welcome to another episode of Monix. I apologize for the background noise because I'm in an open environment, so that's why there's a lot of noise and echo here and there. But please manage the audio. So the topic for today is called slow down. Slow down. Um, this topic was inspired by a series of teachings that I've been listening to in the past few weeks. So I felt the need to share some of the key points that I got from the teachings. So the basic message is for some of us to slow down and get some rest. So why do I feel there's a need for us to slow down? I will discuss two basic points and then we'll wrap it up. So the first point is some of us are very ambitious and consequently we put a lot of pressure on ourselves to achieve goals and acquire things that ordinarily we do not need or may not need till life ends. Yes. So some of us chase degrees here and there, degrees that we do not need. Some of us chase wealth even to the lion's den. Some of us chase clout. And um, while I would say it's good to be ambitious, it's very, very good because I as a person, I am ambitious, so I won't tell anyone that's not going to be ambitious. But what to do um, before acquiring your needs, your material needs, chasing those goals or ambitions, I would like you to ask a question. Ask yourself a question henceforth. And the question is, what drives me to overload myself with this ambition? What drives me to overload myself with the need to acquire these material things? What drives me to overload myself to chase and run after these goals? So if the response you get to this question is one, I'm overloading my life because I just want to oppress people. I'm overloading my life because I want to prove to my classmates or my colleagues that I'm, I'm the best. I'm the best of all. Oh, I'm just overloading my life because I feel like I need to make life unbearable for others because I need to show them that they are nothing. Or generally, you have no good reason whatsoever. In this case, I will tell you to slow down, have a rethink, and reevaluate yourself. Because if you do not, one of these three things, or even those all three might happen to you. The first is you get drained. Of course, it's normal. When you spend your energy, you expend your energy on things that are not right, on things that you shouldn't, you shouldn't spend your energy on, you get drained. Yeah. Number two, you get distracted. If you put, put aside your major goals, your major purpose, and you chase after something else, you're distracted and you lose time. And then, you certainly you know, carry burdens that are heavier than you, which can eventually cost you your existence. Any bad, something bad can happen to you along the way. Yeah, in the in, in the pursuit of all pursuit of all these things, something bad can happen to you, and then you lose your life. So, if you find yourself in any of the situation, or you feel this message is applicable to you, you just keep on overloading your life with things that are not necessary. Slow down. So the second point is that some of us are never satisfied with what we own and we never stop working to get more. Some of us have a lot of money, we are, you know, we are okay, we are comfortable, we are wealthy, but we keep on chasing money over and over and over and over again. Don't get me wrong, this is not bad, but it becomes a problem when we as individuals forget that we are humans and our bodies need rest. This body of ours needs to go on vacation, needs treatment, needs care. So I'm going to back this up with a Bible verse, which is um, Ecclesiastes 4 verse 8, which says, Why am I always working to have more money? What a senseless and miserable life. I'm not going to interpret this verse to you. I will leave it to you. Think about it and interpret it and see how it applies to your own personal life. So in closing, I'm going to tell us to have everything in this new year if that ambition is not worth it i would tell you drop it yeah and if that stress over money is killing you i'll tell you to relax get some rest reevaluate your goals and all will be well so guys this is all i have for you this week and this period i hope you think through all i have said and apply every necessary advice to yourself so guys i'll see you soon take care of yourselves remain good Bye. Take care.